What's up guys? So in this video we're going to be talking about the quest property rights which you will get after you finish disarming discovery. And the first part of this quest they're going to ask you to talk with Knight Shin about the raiders. So you'll go ahead and visit him in his little office area if that's what you want to call it. We'll have to do something. You're here. Good. To review the current situation, one of our patrols located a cache of dangerous weapons in a raider storeroom. Stolen Brotherhood weapons, no less. Your assignment is to secure the storeroom for the Brotherhood and the weapons along with it. I'll put together. So you're gonna go mosey on to that storeroom. And this is what you'll find when you get inside. You're gonna find a raider in here named Pierce. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Did the Brotherhood send you? Didn't know they were working with run-of-the-mill average wastelanders. Thought they wanted you strapped into one of those tin cans round the clock. Uh, it's wrong of me to judge by appearances, though. Why don't you introduce yourself? taking a nice stroll around the toxic valley stumbled upon a mysterious door yeah I can respect an adventurous spirit what I can't respect is the full entourage of brotherhood soldiers who just showed up behind you this vault and all material goods within are hereby under possession of the brotherhood of steel this requisition will aid us in the preservation of technology and the protection of mankind your compliance will ensure your safety so be it. You've made it clear the Brotherhood only provides two options. Blind obedience or violence. You take a wild guess which we would prefer. Sure to question him before he gets away. Looks like things didn't turn out so well for me. Get it over with then. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get this straight. You barged in here, looking to reclaim your property, only to tell me you don't know where it came from? This is almost too good to make up. I knew my feeling about the Brotherhood was right, but you just keep on confirming it. <clears throat> Here's the thing. I don't talk about raider affairs on Brotherhood territory. That's what this is now, right? If you really want to know, you can let me go. And come talk to me in Crater. I deal with reasonable individuals, not an entourage of fascists with their guns pointed at my face. This is your top priority. The longer we let these weapons spread, the more difficult it will be to track down all of them. So your next objective is going to be to track down Pierce back at Crater, but he's not going to be too happy to talk with you. So you're gonna meet this chick, Sheena. Don't mind she's here, she's stubborn. Cut you a deal. Holds too tightly to his morals. I'll tell you about the weapons, but you're gonna need to give me something in return. Interested? I want intel on the Brotherhood. Records, roster, correspondence. You've got people specialized in keeping track of that sort of thing, right? Transfer their data onto this holotape and bring it back to me. Then I'll tell you what you wanna know. 
So she wants you to download some information about the Brotherhood peeps, and you're gonna have an option to do that or bring it to Valdez's attention first. I wanted to do the option with Valdez, and I accidentally kind of messed up and did the computer part first, then was gonna bring it up to Valdez, but after I went to the computer and downloaded this information right here, the option to speak with Valdez was erased, so I should have did it the other way. Either way, I really enjoyed this part of the quest. There was a lot of decision making on my part, and I had fun trying to come up with a plan on what I wanted to do. So after you download that information, they want you to go back to Crater and speak with Sheena. I fall for depending on someone. You've got the holotape? Because you want to know where we got those Brotherhood logo rocket launchers from. And working with me is the only way you're going to find out. Good. Thanks. The weapons don't have one source. Some of them we looted off a group of unfortunate settlers. We've also traded them among ourselves. Some old friends visited Crater a while back, wielding that firepower, claiming they earned it in a fight. They were bragging about it till the day they left. Said they sent some big armored folks running. I can't confirm that the losers were Brotherhood, but that was your logo on the side of those weapons, wasn't it? Doesn't matter to me. Now, I told you what I know. With any luck, we won't talk again. They wouldn't shut up about it, so I learned to tune it out pretty quick. But I do remember them passing around a helmet with a bullet hole through its visor. A trophy from the Fallen. West. They said they passed through Ohio before coming here. I don't know how much further out they went. Don't change your mind. This was a one-time offer. And it's one that neither of us will speak of again. So based on that conversation, it seems like some Don't foundation people got their hands on some Brotherhood well. stuff as well. I see so you you're going to report here mind. back to Shin with Standing that information. By report. And of course he's going to flip out, because that's what he does. Foundation 2. This is bad. Worse than I thought. At this rate, all of Appalachia will be toting these rocket launchers. All because of... Forgive me, Initiate. I lost my composure. We're gonna have to break we need to follow up with Foundation as soon as possible. Ad Victorium. And Ad boom, Victorium. that is the completion of that part of the quest. Property rights is now done, and you will get... Nothing very special. Some Radaway stim packs water blah 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 and you'll get we the new sure quest supplying demands and, and no, we'll cover that video next accommodating aversion to mutated produce all produce